Hi everyone, Jim from Javelin here with a DriveWorks tech tip. I have here a project and just a nice simple example. I have four check boxes here and I want to make sure that I check all the boxes before I proceed. I've also added a little bit of a little bit of a flag here. I like using variables in DriveWorks because it makes it easy to test things. So I've created a variable called check all the boxes, which essentially what it does is it makes sure that all four of these check boxes are checked. If any one of them is unchecked, then the, the variable equates to being false. I can use that variable to control the visibility of a button. If I look in my specification flow, I have a button called proceed, which will allow me to proceed to the next step. However, if I run a specification, you'll see that proceed is always available to me, regardless of whether all the boxes have been checked. I want proceed to be grayed out if all the boxes aren't checked. So let's cancel this. And I'm going to go to specification flow. And the way to do this, I'm going to go to edit. And I'm going to go to the proceed step. You might think that I'd have to drag and drop one of the commands from toolbox into the task sequence, but in this case, because I'm controlling the visibility of the button, I go about it in a slightly different way. In this case, I'm going to right click on my transition name and I'm going to choose edit conditions. From here, I have a list of different, different options that I have available to me and the option that I'm going to choose is called check value. I'm going to drag and drop this over and for value I'm going to change this by double clicking on the little gray dot so that it's no longer a static value. Then I can click my three dots and I'm in my rule builder. So now if my variable equates to being true, then the button's visibility will be true. If it's false, then I set it to false. So I click OK, click OK again, and again. And now let's run another specification. Prompts me to save, which is good. So I'll save it. And now you'll notice that proceed is grayed out. It'll continue to be grayed out until I check all the boxes. And now I could click proceed.